Greetings everyone, Brett here with Hammerhead Model Making, back with another 5 minute review. Today we're going to be looking at Academy's F14. Now, <clears throat> for clarity here, I have built this kit before, so I, I, I will be reviewing that with this knowledge. However, that said, uh, um, I will try to be somewhat objective on this, just so that you guys can get a good understanding of what this kit's about. Um, so, opening up the box, we're treated to a lot of plastic. And for a 172nd scale kit, there, there's a lot going on in here. And um, I think the detail is exquisite. Uh, if you look at the panel lines and the rivet detail, it's it's quite nice. Um, a lot of slide molding went, in, went into the construction of this kit. So there's like the, the fuselage halves, the intakes here, even these the ejection seat backs. These are all slide molded, so that's why they're all separate. Um, you get a lot of double trees here. Uh, so you have a tree here that has engine parts on here. One of the things you'll notice about this kit is it comes with a lot of extra parts. So you're noticing the two different types of engines there. We have different engine faces and different burner faces, um, different seats. Uh, one of the great things about this kit is that you can build pretty much any version of the F-14 you want out of the box. Um, you can build the A, the B, the B plus, and the D. Uh, it comes with all the necessary parts, including alternate parts for the cockpit. So you get alternate instrument panels and side panels. You get the um, alternate uh, gun vents panels, the, the duck bill panel on the back, the different engines. Um, it's, it's quite impressive how much they've packed into this little kit. And um, overall, I find the detail pretty nice. They, they do simplify in a few places. Um, and I think that's just part of the nature of the, the more modern Academy kits in 72nd scale. Uh, you get options for different sidewinders. You get air to ground options. You get uh, mainly an air to air loadout. It's, it's really kind of geared towards that. Um, however, you, so you, I mean, you can do like the four, four sparrows on the belly. You can do uh, Phoenix missiles on the belly. Uh, it comes with a lantern pod, so you can do a more modern D version with a lantern pod and some air to ground munitions, you know, things like that. You, you've got options with this kit. Um, the wings are posable, so you can slide them open and closed if you wish, uh, or you can just do them in one specific pose. Uh, it comes with different options for the uh, inflatable boots behind the wings, so... Clear parts are spectacularly crystal clear. The, the one issue here is that it, there is a seam line along the, the center of that back canopy, um, but that's like 98% of all kits. Uh, decals are printed by Cartograph, so you know that they will be top notch. And um, when I originally built this kit before, I used aftermarket decals, so I didn't actually use the, the kit decals. But interesting note is it comes with decals to represent the, the staining on the inside of the wings from the swing wing mechanism. So, you know, I mean, I don't think it looks all that great, but kind of nice that they thought about that. You get markings for uh, one, one option for markings, uh, and that's the puke and dogs. And I actually think it's a really good looking livery, so... Uh, not bad. And uh, so here's just some close-up detail of the of the de or close-up shots of the detail of this kit. Like I said, you get a lot of detail in here. It's very nice. Uh, the the recessed panel lines. They're kind of just that right depth and width that take washes really well. Um, but yeah, it's it's good. Um, lots of options. So if you have aftermarket decals and you're looking for a good a good kit to do a, a D model or a B plus or whatever, uh, you got the options. And for I, I I paid forty dollars for this kit, so I mean I don't think it's a bad investment uh, for a kit. I I mean enough that I bought a second one because I wanted to build it again. So um, yeah, I I definitely highly recommend this kit. Uh, it goes together well. It's it's engineered well. Um, very few seams have to be cleaned. So, um, it's a, it's a pleasurable building experience overall. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is a fun kit. Uh, it's, I think it's worth your time and your money. And this is going to be the first kit that I give perfect marks to. Um, I mean, really the only fault I can find is that seam line on the canopy. And that's kind of a common thing among kits. So that's, it's kind of a non-issue. So uh, plastic is great. Decals are great. Overall presentation is fantastic. You're getting a lot more than you paid for with this kit. So anyways, take care. We'll see you on the next video and uh, happy modeling.